Bum, 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 bum. Christopher A. Davis, old cowboy. What is going on, guys? Miranda, what is up? A, it's error. What is going on? Josh S., what is up? DJ Fierce, Hercules, what is up, dude? Nate Ball, what is up? Derek Johnson, Sean Hall, Ronnie Kennedy. Hey, yo, God bless, God bless you too, brother. Eric Johnson, hey, what's up, man? Not a lot, dude. Not a lot. Um, we're going to get into it. Um, So, when a lot of people get in here, I'm only going to take this thing out one time, okay? And no, it's not the ball python, all right? I'm only taking it out one time because this thing could actually strangle me, okay? Uh, in my room right now at this current at this current junction, I have the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life, okay? Uh, hands down, never seen any snake bigger than this. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna, we're gonna get into that. Gabriel Roman, what is up? Just chilling, bro. How you been doing? Long time no see. What is up, Bruce Banner? Scorpio, what is going on? Honey, what is up, girl? Oh man, excuse me. Excuse me. Matt, my man just got sentenced. What, how, ooh, those smiley or those sad faces aren't saying good things. What happened? What happened? Talk to moi. I am very curious. I seen the snake bigger than your body. Oh, the one I have is bigger than my body. Um, when I get like 50 people in here, I'll pull them out and uh, and and you'll see, man. Like this snake is probably like this big around, and he's probably like I don't know, man. He, he's at least five foot, at least five foot. Um, huge, but it's a boa constrictor. Uh, the the motherfucker is just absolutely gigantic, man. Gigantic. What the fuck is that, gigantic? Life could be better. It, yeah, same, man, same. Um, I'm getting on here to vent and have a good time because I've been stressed out a lot of, about a lot of shit right now, too. Um, you know, but I haven't streamed in a little while, and we need to get back on that, man. We need to get that pattern going again. One more hour of work. How you been doing? Oh, man, dude. Uh, I've been working my ass off, man. I am, um, I don't know. I'm just exhausted all the time. I've been really stressed lately, but, uh, but it, you know, it's okay. Snowman's Angel, yes you did. Where did it come from? Um, so I don't know. The Amazon jungle, probably. Probably. My dog is getting old, took him for a walk, and he couldn't keep up running with me. Maybe he's just tired. I don't know. <laughs> you sunburnt? Ah, uh, I'm sure I am. Yeah, yep, I sure sure as hell I'm sunburnt. That's so weird. Do you guys see that? It's like a little how did that happen? What a weird way to burn me. Anyway, you quit your job? That's no bueno, man. No bueno at all. NPC, what is up? Looks like you're getting some color out there. Yeah, man. I'm out there busting my ass every day, dude. Um, My boss made a gay joke today, and, and it wasn't cool, dude. It wasn't cool at all. Let's make a video with the snake and see how Lucy reacts to it. Dude, I'm going to show you what snake I'm talking to, bro. Just because you're here, I wasn't going to do this until a bunch of people got here. Stay here for two seconds. You won't regret it. It's not the ball python, all right? I'm going to show you this other one, dude. And just everybody, can I get a one in the chat? Please don't let it bite me. Everybody just one in the chat real quick. Just just one in the chat. Just so the thing doesn't tear me up. Because this thing's huge, man. It could actually constrict me around my neck and, and just decide to do horrible, horrible things to me. Cool. Well, enough ones in the chat. Give me one second. Broncos fan, I hate you a little bit for that. Give me one second, man. All right. Okay. Come here, big dog. Come here, big dog. Where'd you go? Oh, okay, you went in the other hide. Okay. Okay, I see how you want to play this. You want to make it very hard for me. Ugh. God, the snake is huge, bro. Oh, come here. Where are you at? Where's your head? Oh, there's your head. Okay. Let me not grab you from there. All right, girl, come here. Oh, please don't bite me. Please do not bite me. This is him right here. Okay. All right. He's Now, he's a little panicking right now. It's okay. Don't Please don't get in defensive position. Please don't let that happen. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I do? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. I'm sorry. Don't. Oh, dude, if you strike me, I'm gonna be very pissed. I'm gonna be very pissed. Okay, this thing is huge, bro. Hold on. Just let him stretch out for a second. Jeez, they're judging you, bro. Now nah, we gotta we gotta get this figured out. Come here. Oh. So naturally, we're gonna put him around my neck because he can constrict and kill me. You know what I mean? Do it for the stream. So this thing is absolutely huge. Um, you guys can kind of see. No sudden movements. Yes. No, 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 no. Over here, over here, over here, over here. So yeah, this thing is no joke, bro. Come here. Oh, oh no, you're just not gonna make this easy for me, are you? What's up? Oh, USMC, you made it. What is that, brother? Showing off the new snake, man. Okay. Come here. We got to put you back around a little bit, partner. Oh, dude, you could bite the shit out of me. Come here. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dude, they hiss when they get really freaked out. So that's what I'm looking out for right now. But he's been in defensive position, and I don't want him to start biting. You probably saw an anaconda, bro. I don't know. But this thing's huge, man. This thing is no joke. Who would win, Lucy or the snake? Probably Lucy, man. At this point, but when my snake got bigger, dude, if Lucy really, really, did, I don't know, dude, because this thing can constrict. This thing already is eating rabbits. Like, I'm not feeding it rabbits, but he could already be eating rabbits if, if we wanted to. Um, we might have Lucy react to the ball python because I don't want anything to happen where this snake gets freaked out and tries to constrict your puppy. But he doesn't seem like he's, like, super on edge right now. He just seems like he wants to explore a little bit. I don't know, dude. This thing's huge. It's no joke. Yeah, was, okay. If it's an anaconda, I don't care. You're big for, for a snake. Don't go in my shirt. <laughs> well, now we, there's two. There's this one and then the ball python. The ball python, I'm, uh, I didn't see a donation. Um, the ball python is a little bit smaller. Um, Come here, motherfucker. He doesn't like the camera. You've been drinking some full aid, bro. <laughs> I love the snake, though, man. Yeah, this thing is just beautiful. I'm going to try to touch its head. Okay, he doesn't like that very much. What's up, Jay? Not a lot going on. As you can see, the usual. What we usually do on this channel. He is cool as shit, man. This snake is cool as shit. No, 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 no. Don't go on my shirt. Don't go on my shirt. No, do not go on my shirt. Okay, cool. All right, you're safe. Gee, you're safe. He sees himself in the camera. He ain't liking it. He ain't liking it. Not liking it one bit. So the ball python I would bring out right now, but he's supposed to um, eat tomorrow. And I still I need him to be as least like the least amount stressed he can be. Ball pythons are already really hard to feed. But this snake, I don't know. I don't have a name for it. I don't have a name for it yet. It's okay. What's up, Zachary Davis? His little face. Yeah, beautiful snake. I've seen bites from these things, though, man, and they're they're nasty, man, especially this size, because what they do is if they think that you're food, they'll bite you, and then they'll wrap around your arm and constrict the shit out of you, and you can't manhandle them, or they'll just squeeze tighter. Voldemort. <laughs> Love the turtle. Yeah, Arnold's over here making a bunch of noise. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. I love you. I love you. Unfortunately, snakes don't get attached to humans, so he's never going to really recognize me. But um, at some point, maybe he'll be better off being handled because right now he's just everywhere and he doesn't like doing anything. He's just been sitting in his little hide all day. Come here, you're going around my neck, partner. That's what's happening right now. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That jank creepy, bro. I gotta go. Uh, no problem, man. 
Hey, hit me up sometime, man. Uh, I texted you today. Just let me know. Whenever you're trying to do something, brother, hit me up. Are they both yours? Um, so this one was a friend's. Um, but he's going out of town for a while. So when whenever he gets back, uh, how much does it cost to feed him? Um, how much does it cost to feed you? I think a wrap for him is like six dollars, so probably like twelve dollars. Um, and I'll be doing live feedings for him and everything. I'll be doing videos of that. Uh, but yeah, I think he's just super interesting, and I love handling him, man. He moves around a lot more than a ball python, though. He doesn't like sitting still. Jake, what is up? What is up? What's up, Italian Eddie Ralph? Also, hey, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, my boy Manny. Manny came through with a cash app donation today, man, and I hadn't streamed in a while, so it made me very happy to see that people were thinking about me, man. What's going on with your eye over here, man? Are you okay? Are you starting to shed? No, not yet. Okay, good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where do you want to go? Go ahead. Do your thing, dude. I am not getting in your way, bro. Do your fucking thing. You are around my neck. You do what you makes you happy, brother. Oh, defensive position. Chill out. Okay, now you're good. You're just exploring. You're chilling. We're all hanging out. We're having a good time here. How can you tell if it's a boy or a girl? Well, a girl will get a lot taller um, and a lot bigger. Um, like So for him, he's expected to get at most nine feet long, whereas a female will get like bigger than that. My boy's room low-key is zoo. Yeah, man. Two snakes, a tortoise. I would never want a pet snake just in case it got loose. Yeah. So this guy actually can get loose. And if he does, I am screwed. Um, so I literally have been putting like, I don't have a lock for the cage. So he just, you know, he's squeezing my neck. Um, I just put like laundry detergent on top of it. Uh, two liter of Pepsi, anything I can to weigh it down just a little bit. All right, buddy. You want to go back? Are you, are you enjoying this or no? It doesn't seem like you're enjoying this too much. You're doing so good though. Oh, my boss, man, he said some super, some super weird shit, man. I told him I was, okay, yeah, this is what I'm looking out for right here, this connection. Uh, so my boss, I'm out there talking to him today. I was like, hey, man, I just bought two snakes. Um, he was like, uh, he was like, are you looking for any more? I was like, yeah, man, you have any around the farm? He was like, uh, I got a, uh, what do you say? I got a one-eyed, white, pink belly snake and ho grabs his nuts and like, he's like, you can have this if you want. I said, dude, you're a fucking queer. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Oh, dude, he said it in front of everybody. I don't, it was just, it was like, dude, what the fuck, man? It was really weird. Bro, he's around your neck. I know. So I'm always keeping my hand right here just in case he decides to try to constrict. Um, but right now, where are you going? Okay, he's going in my bed. Come here. No, uh-uh. None of that. None of that shit, dude. That's where I sleep. Do not want any surprises. No surprises for me. As you can see, he's moving around quite a bit. I think he's, I don't know if he's stressed or if he's just trying to explore. Um, are you good? You good, partner? Just saw that haircut you got? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm going to go set him back. How old is he? He's only like not even a year. Not even a year old. And as you can see, he's already ridiculously huge. When are you going to feed him? Um, Very good question. Uh, it's going to be probably... Like a week, um, but the ball python feeding video is going to be out this weekend for sure. I'm going to go buy some uh, some fuzzy mice for him to eat, and he will be enjoying that. What's up, Adamo? Uh, what's his name? I don't know. We don't have a name for him yet. I appreciate it, man. All right, I'm going to go try to put him back in his cage. This is always the hardest part. Um, he does not like being locked up, so... Uh, we're going to have to give me a second, man. Cause this is never easy for me. That's why I said I'm only bringing him out once because he, it is so hard to get him back in his tank, man. He does not ever want to go in there. He doesn't play around at all. So give me one second. Um, it's going to take a minute to get him back. All right, partner, come here. I know, I know you don't want to go back in. I'm aware. I'm very aware.
Oh, come on, dude. Don't be this guy. Let me fix your little setup for you, man. I know I kind of fucked up your enclosure. Hold on. All right. So that took a little bit of time. Took a little bit of time. Um, I would move and show you guys. I'm going to show you his, uh, his enclosure when I do a, a feeding video. Um, I can't pick up his enclosure. It's, uh, geez, just his tank alone is probably 250 pounds. Um, it, it takes up like, it takes up a good quarter of my room. Um, I can't, okay, so look, my whole arm span isn't even close to how big the, the enclosure is because he has to be able to stretch all the way out in his tank and still have room. So, yeah, it's, it's no joke. Um, the uh, the tank actually cost more than the snake like would have. It was unbelievable. It was absolutely unbelievable. <sighs> Let me see. Yeah, man, huge shout out to my boy Manny. I don't know if you're in here, brother, but that really meant a lot today, brother. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you're in here. I want to see the tank now. It, he, you guys will see the tank. Gosh, dude, that thing is fucking huge. What does your housemates think of it? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't, you know, they don't come in my room. I don't bring it out there. So, you know, like it might as well be a fish. USMC dog. That's my boy. Hey, man, if you guys get a second, USMC dog, he just got partnered on Twitch. That is a huge deal. I could never do it. Um, usually, uh, USMC, I was going to wait till there was a few more people, but, you know, fuck it, why not? Um, if you guys could, just go check him out, man. He does a lot of gaming videos. He games a lot with me, um, and we have a great time playing together, man. He's got, so look, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of his channel because he doesn't just do gaming, all right? He's got, like, four Belgian Malinois and, or, uh, dogs, right? And he does videos where they go out and attack him, where he puts on the suit, and they go out and attack him, dude. They, like... Dude, it's nuts, all right? It's some crazy shit. It's like some police dog training. Um, it's absolutely unbelievable, man. It's stuff I've watched. He's got a re really cool channel, man. So go check him out. You know what I mean? Drop a sub. Let him know you saw it. Let him know who sent you. <laughs> I'll drop my IG real quick. I saw somebody ask, but automatic flow. What is up? You get sunburned. Yeah, man. I'm white. What's up, Maddie? Got a notification for the first time. Was on a bus, though. Yeah, so I think what happened was... um. Every category that I've ever done for live streams has been entertainment, all right? This time, I switched up to comedy, and a lot of people got notifications. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll just keep switching it up. The next stream is going to be news and politics, and it's going to have nothing to do with news and politics. Hey, my boy Aaron. What is up, brother? Dude, I saw you called, man. I was planning on calling you tonight. Um, I had called you like two days ago, and I didn't hear back from you, so I got worried, man. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a call after the stream, man. I like, I think when you called, I was in, I was either, what was I doing? I don't know. I, I didn't see when you called. I had like saw that night before I was about to go to sleep, but uh, hopefully you're doing all right, man. I really appreciate that too. Thank you so much, brother. Good idea for a while. I didn't get notifications. Yeah, for sure. They suck. They suck. No, my PS, my PSN is different. Okay. My PS4 uh, name was changed. So if you're going to add me on PS4, um, which I will be on tonight, um, and, and please, okay, so look, I say a lot of stuff on PS4, right? I'm going to have to start watching my mouth because um, I don't know how many of you guys are subs and, you know, who I play with, who's a sub and who isn't. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I say some really extravagant shit. Uh, so just don't freak out. What did you think of the name? Um, let me see. What, it was Metal Solid Snake Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> kind of a long name. <laughs> So we got a ball python over there. Um, it's a different snake. We named him Cadus, uh, which means to strike or to slaughter, which is awesome. But whatever happened with the cock esser that stole from you? Everything all right with that? Yeah, I let it go. Um, I just let it go, man. You know, it was it was worth it to just let it go. And, and you know, um, you know, lessons learned, bridges burn, like I said before, you know. Um, it is what it is. You know, it, it'd be different if it was a lot of money, but $20 is, is petty. You know what I mean? If you really needed $20, he could have just asked me. But it is what it is, man. You know, I, I ain't really worried about it. 
I played MW2 and the toxic chat days. I probably won't be bothered by what you say on PSN. Yeah, dude. MW2 is vicious, man. Are you allowed to feed your boa on stream? Yeah, it'll be demonetized though. Um, and I'm sure like after I post the uh the actual live stream, I'm gonna have eight thousand PETA members in my uh my comment box talking about you're this and you're that. I hope you get skinned. I hope a bigger animal eats, you know, all that kind of shit. Um, and you know, it is what it is. You're I won't be doing I won't just hop into a live stream and uh and start feeding him live with you know live bait. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm going to give a warning. You know what I mean? So it'll be a video or the title of the stream will be live boa feeding. That way, you know, if you're offended by that kind of stuff, if that bothers you, it, it's your prerogative. You fucking joined. I don't know what to tell you. You cheddar bobbed yourself. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's how I have to do it. Um, just so, you know, I don't have um, animal rights activist groups uh, all up in my colon. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big animal lover. That's why I have a bunch of them. But at the same time, there can't be life without death. But, you know, I also I'm also only going to feed him to an extent because they told me that I could feed him a rabbit. All right. If I wanted to, I could drop a bunny in that bitch and he would go to town. All right. He would he would spaz the fuck out on a rabbit. But I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? For two reasons. One, because I like rabbits. And two, because that would be a thirty dollar meal every time I wanted to feed my snake. Um, so, yeah, a, a live rabbit feeding would do very well on YouTube. But just my conscience, it would bother me that he just demolished a rabbit. Plus, like, the sounds a rabbit would make dealing with that <laughs> would just be bad. <laughs> Can we see your haircut? Yeah, for sure. This is the haircut right here. Ain't nothing special, man. Just got everything cut off the top. Um, this is actually the same cut I got right before I went into court for my bond hearing. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it'd be like $35 to feed him. Uh, what do you feed him? Right now, I'm focusing on rats and uh, and something else. Hey, my boy Manny joined once again. Thank you, Manny, for coming in on Cash App today, brother. That meant so much to me, man. So thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate that. Oh, my God. ASMR rabbit feeding. God, that would be just gruesome, dude. Oh, that would be super bad, man. Hey, Matt, I've been a sub since the beginning. Been with death a lot longer, but support you 100 but like speak on a couple things with you. Hit me up. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Too small for real. Uh, a rabbit give him two large rats. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like a small rabbit, he could just just demolish. Um, it is pretty crazy. I looked at another snake. They're called uh, blood pythons. And they are such vicious eaters that they just sometimes when they strike, they rip the animal right in half. Like I couldn't show that on YouTube. Okay, like there's a limit. You know what I mean? If he's you know, if there's not a whole lot of thing, guts and shit everywhere, I can show it. But if this thing bit into a rat and split it in half, I can't show that shit. I can't show that shit. <laughs> What's your cash app name? I'll drop it real quick. I'll drop it real quick. Arnold is over here having a fucking conniption. And if you donate on Cash App uh, or Venmo or anything like that, your name goes on the donation board for the next giveaway. Um, so you will automatically be entered in that. Whatever we decide to give away, um, we will do that. Give me one second. Uh, my boy Arnold is over here having an uh, – let me not say that. Come here, Arnold. You silly son bitch. Arnold, why can't I close your tank now? There we go. Jeez. And if you donate on Cash App, please let me know on here. Um, so Because I might not get a notification on my phone, so please just let me know. So I can give you a good shout out. Do you know where to make custom gold chains? Um, I'm sure you could find good places on online. I've never really been through that process before of making custom gold chain. I don't have that kind of bread. Um, but, you know, I'm sure Google search would solve that problem for you um honestly if you go to a lot of like uh like real jewelry shops where they customize rings and engagement rings and shit like that i'm sure you can make something there but never put more than one food at a time for sure you get back with kara so me and kara are on better terms um and uh i don't know it's it's just we're it's a very very weird stage right now um she did tell me to tell all of you guys hi so kara said what's up to you guys and she hopes all you guys are doing good um, so yeah, that's coming from her. So we're on good terms, but I 
I've been looking to be honest, but uh, nothing come up. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. No problem at all. So you still together? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we never officially. It's it's so weird, man. It's it's just weird right now. Man, dude, I didn't, you can do Bitcoin on Cash App. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's so weird. You can do Bitcoin on Cash App. What the fuck? I don't even know how to use that shit. Oh. You guys got to get married? I don't know. I don't know. Um, she is not happy about the snake. She doesn't very. She doesn't really like them. Uh, and I love snakes. So, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Another thing I'm thinking about doing, tell me if this is something you guys would be interested in. If it's not, this is a very dangerous, stupid idea. Please don't go do this if I do it. Um, but uh, there is, okay, so if you guys have ever heard of copperheads, um, they are venomous snakes. Uh, we have a lot of them in this area. Me and a buddy that I work with um, are very passionate about handling and dealing with snakes, all right? We're thinking about going out and videotaping us handling some of these cotton mouths or copperheads, I'm sorry. Um, because if you get bit, you can usually just wait it out. It's not a, a death sentence. It's not, you're going to die. You know what I mean? You can wait it out. It's going to hurt like a bitch. You're going to throw up. It's going to suck, but you can walk off. You can walk away from a bite and not have to go to the emergency room. Now, if you get bit by a water moccasin, which is a cotton mouth. Yeah. You're kind of, you're kind of screwed. Go to the hospital. Um, but I think it'd be really interesting because I hear venomous snakes handle a lot different from non-venomous snakes. So we're going to go to a spot where he's counted 19 of these fucking things. Um, and like a, a 0 0.3 mile walk. All right. So a 0 0.3 mile trail, he kind of 19 venomous snakes. So I think we're going to go over there and, um, and I think that'd be really cool, but just let me know what you guys think, man. Are you going to feed your snakes live rats? Uh, yeah, I am. So, uh, he said, I heard that rats can hurt snakes sometimes. So they can. So usually what happens if, is if you're feeding it a big rat, um, this is going to sound really bad. Uh, it's called brain feeding. It sounds even worse when I say that, but pretty much what happens is you take the rat you bonk it on the head, and then while it's still like jimmying around, you put him in there, and the snake does its thing. It's it's pretty bad, but but yeah, man. How's work been going? Uh, it's going all right. Had cotton mouth the other day. God, aren't snakes bad omens? Uh, like in a lot of mythology, yes they are. Yes they are. Um, in Christianity, they're connected with Lucifer, and um, like Greek mythology, Medusa. You had her, and she was not a good person or a good being i guess um yeah there's not a lot of uh there's some cultures where snakes are revered but not a lot not a lot holy cannoli that's gruesome yeah it's pretty bad a little a little tap on the head with a sledgehammer <laughs> oh my god neo not yet <laughs> that's funny you throw them in two and let them fight to the death yeah for sure for sure oh my god broncos don't say that he cares about rats, though. Yeah, I don't really admire rats. I don't have, I, don't, I just don't care about them. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think it'd be interesting to see what that big ass snake can do to a rat. I think it'd be really cool to see. But Set was the Egyptian god of snakes. Yes, he was. There was another one. Um, God, I can't remember his name, though. Can't remember his name, though. But yeah, man, I'm thinking about playing some uh, some PS4 for a little bit. If you guys want to hop on and join me, feel free. Um, also, man, I need some ideas for stuff I could give away. I want to do more giveaways. I enjoy doing them. I like doing giveaways. Um, so yeah, man, just let me know. Even though fucking uh, John still hasn't received his package, which makes me look horrible. Like I sent it out and now like, you know what I mean? They can't tell me where it is. It's, I should have got a, a tracking order. I might have to go get a tracking order and see where it's at because he still hasn't got it, which is very frustrating for me. Oh, my God, Neil. Don't say that. I'm going to lose all my female viewers. <laughs> oh, dude, that snake would tear that rat up, man. Sometimes when they when they strike, they just strike for fun. So, like, they'll, psh, 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 they'll just go at you. And then once they're ready to eat, they'll constrict, and then they'll just feed. It's crazy, man. They're nuts. Don't rats carry DMT? You can. I've heard that. I don't know if that's true, though. You have to bring back the series where you talk about those mythologies, like uh, Apophis. Yes, I really enjoyed doing that video. It didn't do too well. 
Uh, but I really enjoyed researching and putting that video together. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and I enjoyed doing, you know, religious talks and um, studying different beings, you know, like skinwalkers, which I still haven't made a video on. I haven't met anybody in Navajo, so it makes it very hard. Um, but yeah, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Different gods and goddesses, I think is really interesting to go into and learn about, uh, you know, where it came from. You know what I mean? These people don't just wake up one day and, and create a bunch of shit. This comes from somewhere. You know what I mean? I think it's interesting to learn that kind of stuff. Pull up to the post office with that. <laughs> I appreciate that, Stephen Donna. Oh my God, Mo Elliott. Y'all are wild, dude. How can you get a track, uh, get a tracking order for something you've already sent? Exactly. Good question. I don't know if I can. I don't, I don't know if I can. When's the last time you chilled with death? Um, it's been a while. It has been a while. Uh, probably a month and a half. Probably a month and a half. Uh, we still talk, but you know, he's been real busy. He's got, you know, another kid on the way. His whole family runs two channels, um, and works with his dad. So he's got, you know, shit going on. What about demigods? I, I think those are pretty interesting too. I want you to get me a copper. Uh, I want you to get me a copperhead. Me and you should talk one day. I am a Freemason. Okay. But I can't tell you certain things, but I wouldn't mind talking because you seem like someone that shares a lot of knowledge. Um, okay. What, uh, what position do you hold in the uh, Masonic temple or in the Masonic lodge? What, uh, not rank are you, but what, what, what position do you hold? When you go to shake somebody's hand, what is the shake called that you use? Because this is public information. I just want to see if you know it. Because I'll know I'll know what rank you are based on the uh, on um, on that. Charlton Romeo held. Let me know. Man, I'd pay you a grand today if you sent me a live copperhead. No way. Call Navajo Nation. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Hold on. Um, I'm going to go catch one real quick. Oh, what's it called? Navajo Nation. Let's see what this is all about. Is that the actual number for him? I don't think they would talk to me about it, man. But, uh, but you know, if it's, if I could, I would be very happy to do that. That'd be awesome. Delta Dash in 10 hours. You guys are wild. What's up, Crystal? Joshua. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't heard anybody call him that ever. Second degree, but my grandfather passed away. 32nd degree. Okay. Okay, you know you know some stuff. You know some stuff. Um, I'll tell you what. Do you have Instagram or do you have uh, anything like that? And I'll also tell you this, look, there's a lot of stuff that people have, have come and talked to me about, you know what I mean, Se government secrets, things like this, that I know are true, that I can't share on the channel, and that I don't out of respect for talking to these people. So if you had something we could talk about in confidence, it will not be posted on the channel. Um, you know, and you don't have to believe me, I get, you know, there's, you know, it, it'd be kind of hard, but, um, but I am very interested. I still have a Masonic Temple book that is older than me and you. I don't care how old you are. This book's older than me and you. Um, and I cannot decipher it. Uh, I will show you, you know, maybe you've seen some of these characters, some of this language. Um, but I can't decipher it. Uh, but, yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I do not have Facebook. So I, I, anything else? You can give me your number, um, something like that, but I, I don't have Facebook. What, what, is this, what is this guy doing? Jesus, that took a, entirely too long. Appreciate you, Neil. Got to go make his... All right, Anthemius, Augusta, a little less this. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy. Andrea R., thank you so much. It's coming in with five on Cash App. Thank you. Let me add you to the giveaway list. I really appreciate that. That means so much to me. I'm going to add you up here right now. Snowman's Angel, I got you. I got you. You are in there like swimwear. Uh, snowman's angel. Let me see. Thank you so much. You are added in there. Also, not handshakes are um are consistently changed because of the internet, but they've always consistently changed. So I can't tell you when it's because. Of it. Yeah, but you have certain ones that don't change. The lion paw is still 
you know, there's different ways you shake people's hands when you're a, a Mason. There's certain ways people stand in, in rooms when they're a Mason. It's, it's, it's not a, uh, it's, it's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Masons will always stand usually in a corner of the room with their feet out. Um, and you, you'll be able to recognize other Masons like that. People, you have to know to know. It's kind of what it is, but. Please take a minute to pray. I'll do, you don't got to donate for a prayer. You're good. You don't got to donate. Whatever happened to the CIA guy, you know, and said you had crazy shit to share. So, um, I haven't talked to him since. Uh, but he advised me it was not smart to post any of that information. And honestly, I, I'll talk about it one day. I just need people to stop asking about it because it keeps refreshing people's memories that that's what happened. And if I start coming out with a video, like, you know, within the next week of, you know, disclosed information, I found out everybody knows where it's coming from, um, which could lead back to him, which could get me in trouble and him in trouble. So I have to give it probably a year, something like that before I can start sharing really everything I learned and I really can't share everything, but, um, most of it, most of it, you seem to be in good spirits. Uh, I'm just getting my mind off stuff, man. Um, you know, I've got a lot of bullshit going on, uh, and, and it sucks, dude. And I'm stressed about shit, but you know, it doesn't, nobody wants to see somebody get on here and complain. You know, that's not what people want to see. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I, I wouldn't be happy. I saw my PO yesterday. I sure did. I believe it, Journey. I haven't noticed that. I'll have to check that out, though. I didn't know that. My guy has been in for five, two to go. Oh, man. Do you is he doing 80% uh, of his time, or like is he doing the full five? Jeez, Arnold, calm down. Why did your wife leave you? Oh, I was like, what? It's like, there's like two things you got twisted right there, but it's okay. Time to someone else. Well, like I said, I, uh, I can't, I don't have Facebook, so I wouldn't be able to find you on Facebook. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But, um, if you can make anything else, let me know. Uh, what part of Virginia are you from? Uh, I'm out by the beach. Got seven, five down applying for boot camp. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of programs he could do depending on what he did and what, uh, what level of facility he's in. Um, do you know what level of facility he's in? OBX? Oh, dude, you're right up the street. Probably, uh... God, I think I'm starting to get stripped through. That's going to suck, dude. Oh, I hope not. That's probably like about an hour away. What type of snake do you have? Um, Again, is that? Uh, so that one right there is a uh, adult boa. Uh, the other one is a juvenile python, ball python. Hey, Matt, what's up? Blast some metal while watching the stream. That's awesome, man. I've been listening to a lot lately. I got two rambunctious playing golf. Oh, my God. I don't know the level he was dealing. What was he selling? And is it his first offense? Instagram, same name. All right, cool. I'll drop my Instagram for you. Did you ever go to Juvenile Hall? I did. Um, and it was, it sucked. Well, not, okay, so they have JDC, which is a Juvenile Hall, and then they have, uh, like, correctional centers that you go to as a juvenile instead of going to adult jail. And I was in one of those correctional centers. It was worse than, than fucking uh, Juvie, but I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, yeah, for sure. I'll drop in my Instagram. And we will talk for sure. That's my Instagram right there. How long were you there for? Uh, I spent um, time in a couple of them. All together as a juvenile, I spent probably two and a half years um, in different facilities and places. Um, and then I spent uh, like a month and a half, two months uh, before I made Bond uh, in the adult jail. All right, Chris, I'll take it easy. I hope you feel better. <sighs> Instead of playing your wife's holes, you got addicted to the goal. God, y'all are wild, man. <sighs> oh, shit. I forgot. I made this like 20 minutes ago and I already forgot I have it. 
Thoughts on global warming? I believe it's real, man. I really do. Oh, heron. Mm. It's not his first offense. He got very lucky. He got very lucky. There, there's people going to prison for uh, heroin distribution for like 20, 30 years. It's insane. It is really insane. Um, he's probably at a level. Oh, he's not at a level one or two. He's most likely at a three or four, which is, it sucks. It's not fun. I got a very good lawyer. That's awesome. Um, do you know what the charge was? Was it just possession with intent to distribute, or was it distribution, or was it trafficking? Because that has a big role in it, in it too. What's up, Wacky Wheeler? How's work going? It's stressful, man. I'm not making it enough. Pissing me off. I'm going all right, man. I'm doing all right. Oh, wow. That'll be a good one. I'll have to check that out, Hercules. FPS ski wad. <laughs> what are you eating? A hot pocket. Oh, see, somebody knows. That's awesome. How many hours do you work a week? Um, it varies. Some days I work nine, 10, 11 hours. And then some days I only work like seven. Very rarely do I work seven though. This is a uh, pizza hot pocket. This shit's actually really good, man. Off to grind to do my thing. Yeah, bro, no problem. Once again, y'all, if you get a second, please go check his channel out, man. Forget Rizo, forget Gallant. Those people just do gaming streams. It's fucking boring. If you guys want to see four of the most vicious fucking dogs tear into a motherfucker, go look at his channel, man. Go check him out. I don't know if he has it on his uh, YouTube or if he has it on Twitch, but, dude, he's got some really cool shit up there, man. We ain't all making it, bro. If struggle hard, you appreciate it so much more. I believe that. That's a good quote for sure. Why are you coming in with 20? Let me add you up real quick. Thank you so much, brother. Let me add my boy Aaron up here again. My boy, Aaron. I know you didn't, but you're still in there like swimwear. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. You're about due for a um, a wrench too, man. Come back next stream. I'll make you a wrench. Or I'll make you a wrench. I'll make you a moderator. There's a couple of people I'm going to be making mods next stream. So join next stream for your chance to be a mod. I just sent you the interview link on Instagram. I'll have to check it out for sure. Weirdo needs to leave. What did he say? Probably that same kid, that Brandon kid or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't paying him any attention. It's better just not to, uh, yeah, he's the same kid. It's better just not to acknowledge him, man. All these people want to do is uh, come in here and, and get attention. You know what I mean? They, they go to school and they sit there all day quiet with their head down and they get no attention. So they have to come home on the internet and get it from everybody, which is why I do it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It's a good ass hot pocket, man. Real quick, man. Um, I want to just say thank you to everybody. Um, now who's in the stream and who's ever watching it after, uh, it really means a lot, man. I really do appreciate the support. I'm not able to stream every day like I used to be, just because I'm working all the time. And uh, it's nice to hop up here and still do videos and still talk to you guys and communicate with you guys and you know hop on the phone and. You know what I mean? I had a, a really good phone call with um, a couple of you guys, man. Like, more than a couple. I mean, really, we're getting into, like, almost the 20s now. People have called and talked to and had really good conversations with. 
Uh, but yeah, man, it, you know, it, it really is a blessing to be able to be in the position I am to be able to talk to you guys and, uh, you know, just have that support, dude. You guys have helped me out more than some people I call my closest friends. That's why I always keep it a hundred with you guys, man. You know, and it comes back and it bites me in the ass sometimes because I have people that, you know, hop in here looking for my mom's address and look for my address. You know, people that just try to kill it for everybody. Uh, but I don't let that happen. You know what I mean? One dickhead is not going to make everybody a dickhead. So I'm still going to keep it a buck 50 with you guys. You know what I mean? That, that will never change. Um, so just, you know, know that. I keep it a stack with you guys for a reason because you guys are absolutely 100% the best fucking family in the world, dude. 10-4, 100%. I might help you well. I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. My dad needs to stop golf. Oh, my God, dude. This kid is dedicated. I'm telling you, dude. Kids like this. What it is, what it is. Yeah, Talo. You know what I mean? And that's another reason why I try to do interviews with you guys and shout out people's channels because I think everybody has a story to tell. You know what I mean? Nobody doesn't have any interesting stories that you know wouldn't get views so i think everybody has a, a really good uh a really good story they just don't have an uh, an avenue or a platform to be able to express themselves with so if i could do anything to um i guess help people hear your story you know I, i'm gonna do it because i you know not only is it entertainment for the audience but it can help out a lot you know knowing that people viewed your shit and then going through and reading the comments, sometimes it helps you out. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of stress off your shoulders. It has for me. So your raw opinions and talk is why I'm here. Yeah, I don't really sugarcoat much. Um, you know, if I have a, a controversial opinion that I feel is too controversial to talk about, which is very, very rare um, and has only happened with like two questions. Uh, you know, I won't talk about how I feel about Trump. I will not talk about politics. I mean, I'll talk about him. But I'm not going to give anybody my standpoint on politics um, and certain aspects of religion. I still don't talk about. Uh, but besides that, I mean, and really, that might change one day. Uh, it's just to the point now where, like, it's so 50 50. You either you either fuck with Trump or you fucking hate him. There's no. Yeah, he's all right. That just doesn't happen. Um, you know, and I'm my opinion isn't too strong one way or the other. Um, you know what I mean? But that's like as far as I'm going to go. I'm not just I'm not going to talk about it. When are you going to do a dark web video again? So the deep web videos I've been trying to do a lot of. Um, the Chromebook is just abysmal for getting on the deep web. Um, I have to go through the Chrome store and then I have to reroute some uh, some of my connections to the router. I mean, it's it's a pain in the ass, dude. So plus the screen recorder that I use to do it, it freezes up and glitches every now and then. So I needed to wait till I was getting a, a better computer, which is going to take a long time because like the saving up shit is ridiculous. Um, just cause like, so I pay $650 a month in rent. And then I also pay $250 a month for car insurance. So like right there is, is almost a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? I'm looking at $900 right there and that's every month. So it's very hard to save up, you know, getting groceries and, uh, food for the animals and all that kind of shit. Uh, you know, it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot. Um, is YouTube paying you much yet? Eh. Not really. I mean, but I don't really put a whole lot of ads in my shit. You know, if I really wanted to uh, to get paid as much as, you know, some of the other YouTubers, I could put 30, 40 ads in, in you know, an hour stream. But I'm not going to do that. Nobody's getting, Nobody wants to watch that shit. I wouldn't. You know what I mean? I'd be like, fuck this guy. You know what I mean? I'm not watching your shit, dude. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You should start vlogging. I really like vlogging. Um, I don't have data on my phone really for it. Like right now I'm out of data. If I go out like on my front porch, I can't connect to shit. So, uh, Bill is welcome to life as an adult. Yeah, for sure, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not really complaining. It's just, I'm complaining. <laughs> uh, Ty, I'm not going to talk about what he makes. It's not my business, not anybody else's but his own. No disrespect, though. Good question. Something I would ask, too. My man, Sean Hall. Let me add you up here, brother. Thank you so much. I got you, man. Whoa, 
Well, Charl Charlton, let me know. Like I said, um, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a setting. Uh, I'll have to do it next time. Uh, but I can make it so people can't spam the chat. That's what I'll have to do. Because people hop in here and do bullshit like that. So it's going to suck, man. Um, you're only going to be able to type like one message every like 10 seconds or some shit. Uh, but it is what it is, man. You know, like that shit's just annoying. Nobody likes those people. I don't really care, but it's just annoying for everybody to have to see their bullshit. He said, nah, fuck slow mode. I know, dude. How much is a computer? So I'm really trying to be cheap with it because I don't want to buy like a $1,200 computer. That's what they told me. They said, you know, like a $1,200 computer will help with editing and all that kind of shit. But there's no way I'm saving that much up. So like I'm thinking like a five or $600 desktop would be fucking perfect because I don't need to, you know, I can use this laptop when I go out and do that kind of stuff. But um, I want to learn how to do my own editing and you can't edit on this. Um, I have to pay a lot of money for people to edit my stuff and put it up. And it's still not the way I want because, you know, I can only tell them what I kind of want it to be. Um, so it's just tough, man. It sucks, but I could save up $600, I think. I appreciate that, Rick. Give me one second. I don't like talking about food in my mouth. Ugh. Cool. I've had good luck buying refurbished computers. They're often brand new. I have to look into that then. You should try to sort out something to start vlogging and do what everyone else does to get your subs up and start making money off it. I mean, as you guys can see, I don't hop on here to do what everybody else does. Um, it's very rare you have a streamer that can sit here and just talk. You know what I mean? It's very hard to do and be entertaining. A lot of people run out of shit to say or um, they just aren't good at communication. Uh, but I don't know, man. I find it easy and I find it fun and I enjoy doing it. So I try not to be like everybody else. What's up, Wacky? What's going on, Holly? Gamer girl. Dopamine hacker. Are you an Apple or Microsoft guy? Ooh. Well, I grew up on Microsoft. Um, I, when I was hacking, I used, well, I used Linux, but I started off with Microsoft, and so I kind of like that better. Plus, I don't respect Apple as a company. Um, I think it was the iPhone 6, 7, or 8, one of those motherfucking iPhones, where they admitted they put a code into the phone to make it slowly deteriorate over time, where... It would crash more, and so you'd have to bring it in and fucking pay them to do this shit. Um, and they wouldn't have admitted it, but somebody went in and found that code. And, uh, and it was just such a shitty thing to do to your uh, your consumers, man. So I don't respect them as a company one fucking bit. You're good, Wack. You don't have to do anything, man. Do you stream games? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I've got to run, but thank you for another great stream. Thank you for another great person in the stream. And thank you so much for that donation, too. I really do appreciate that, especially on Cash App. Um, cause it's not taxed and I get it right now. That really helps. Thank you so much. And I smash out. Oh yeah. Just, you got to bitch slap that like button, punch it right in the face. Like it owes you something. All right, Broncos, take it easy. Oh God. I just like Apple too. Yeah. I don't, I don't like them. Do you think war with Iran is inevitable? Um, I don't think it's inevitable. I think that both sides both sides could back down. That's you know it's possible. Do I think that that is going to happen? Do I think war is more than more than likely than than less likely? I'd say yes. Um, but I don't know, man. We've had tension with the Middle East and with uh, a bunch of people for a very long time. Um, not over just oil and uh, and fucking each other up. But religion, things like that, you know what I mean? Nobody's, they're not going to wake up one day and go, man, you know, I was wrong. Christianity is where it's at, dude. You know, it's just not going to happen. Um, you know, people are going to fight for their religion um, for their whole life. And, you know, there's there's honor in that. Uh, and I truly, so I'm a Christian, but Muslims have some of the best dedication in the world. Now, you can disagree with me and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Um, but Muslims are, they, they wash their body before they pray. They pray, I think it was three times a day. 
Uh, they're willing to to blow themselves up for what they believe in. I mean, you don't have a Christian that that is going to go over there and blow himself up for what he believes in. He's like, eh, no, you know, I, I, I'm working a job. I have a girlfriend. I don't think my God would want me to do that. You know what I mean? Things like that. Whereas, you know, it's all how you interpret things um, five times a day. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, like I said, man, Muslims, they, they're just, they have the best dedication. You know what I mean? A, a Christian will jack off and then pray to God with lotion still in his hands. I mean, it's just how it is, man. You know, it, it, <laughs> kind of a crazy way to put it, but tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> did you hear they're going to change the $50 uh, bill to a girl? I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. I believe it, though. Also, Cash App makes you mess with that Bitcoin. I don't know. I've never had a problem with it. It doesn't make me mess with Bitcoin. It's always worked for me. I love Cash App. I'll tell everyone what, what will happen when you die when you enter on uh, Deep Save Gym. Consciousness, it is finite. Yeah, very true. Now that you're kind of touching on something uh, Alan Watts said. Now we're going to get very deep here. Um, but uh, pretty much with Alan Watts, he said, say there is no life after death. There is Say there is nothing, all right? Say everything I believe in is wrong. Everything Christians, Muslims, everything everybody believes in is just wrong. It's not true, okay? You still shouldn't be afraid because life after death would be the same way it was before you were born, all right? The annihilation of consciousness is not an experience. So people believe that or what they're scared of um, when they die is that they're going to be underground, six feet under, uh, and, and they're just going to be stuck there in a, in a pine box of darkness for the rest of their life. And that's just, that would be an experience. That would be a moment to be had. That would be a memory. That would be a time. That would be a place that you were at. And all of that is an experience. But the annihilation of consciousness, when you don't, when you are not conscious, it's not an experience. It's just like before you were, you know, before you were born or sleeping without dreaming. You know what I mean? You don't, you're just not, you're, you're absent. You're not there. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very deep topic. And I like talking about this quite a bit. Um, as you could probably tell, I have a lot to say about it, but uh, I don't know. I think it's important to talk about. I think it's very important to talk about. The chat just got good. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. It's anybody's guess after, after like, you know, what happens after you die, but, um, you know what I mean? But yeah. Okay. And, and when I was talking about Muslims, I when and I said that they blow themselves up. I, I'm not talking about all Muslims. Please don't misinterpret that. Uh, I'm talking about the extremists, uh, you know, the terrorist groups that are still very religious. You know what I mean? They're just, in my opinion, going about it the wrong way. Um, there's a lot of very peaceful Muslims that uh, have more discipline than I will ever have in my entire existence. But, uh, but yeah, was not generalizing any group or anything like that. Where does our energy go? Energy once created has to transfer somewhere. It's a very good, a very good point. Um, I'm not the one to. Yeah, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> like I said, if I don't know something, I'm not going to make up a bullshit answer to try to seem like I have all the fucking answers because I don't. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But if I do know or if I have a theory, I will let you know. Yeah, Charlton, for sure. 100% we do. God, we've already been streaming for an hour, man. Jeez. I got I to gotta get ready for, for work tomorrow. I got to go make a sandwich. I don't have any bottles of water. Damn it, man. Tomorrow's going to be hot too, dude. Tomorrow's going to be hot. Today, the heat index around here was like 103. And I was running low on water and... It was bad. It was not good. It was uh, no bueno. <sighs> oh, dude, I'm so tired, man. Oh. What did you do at work today? So uh, usually we go out every day that I've ever worked there. Even the prior time I worked there, we've gone out and done commercial jobs, right? So like we'll do all the uh, mulching, the planting of every tree, planting of every bush, flower, shrub, anything. Uh, at like McDonald's, Walmart's, Aldi's, Lytle's. I don't know if you guys have those. Um, Lowe's, anywhere. You know what I mean? Anywhere where there is to be uh, a building for commercial use, we do the landscaping. Um, and it's very hard. 
because a lot of these places, these plots of land that these people buy, is just hard as a rock to dig through. Uh, so it just sucks. But today, we stayed at the tree farm all day and just pulled weeds for our boss and made his house look amazing, um, which it was kind of a pain in the ass because he was very more, he was just much more specific with things than he usually is on jobs because it's his house, you know, but... Matt, I told you dip in your streams. What do you mean? I don't, I don't, I don't do dip. <laughs> I think there's a miscommunication here. Any thoughts on Operation Fast and Furious? It was when the government sold guns to Mexican cartels and hoped that they would be able to track the guns so they could arrest them. I didn't hear about that. Um, so I, I don't have to. I believe it. Um, just like I believe that they introduced crack to lower income neighborhoods, but at the same time, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard that. So, uh, but I don't doubt it. You know what I mean? I, do, I don't doubt it at all. Did you get that blood out of your car? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Hopefully it's not there anymore. Um, Danny, come back in a, in a couple of streams, man. I haven't really seen you. If you're active in the chat, uh, so if you just sit here and you don't really type much, um, it, it'd be hard for me to make you a stream or a, a moderator because I just, you got to be active and I haven't seen you. Um, but yeah, come back for a couple of streams. I'll make you a mod. I make everybody a mod. Who is calling me? Who is this? Hello? Hello, my name is Norma Hernandez, coming from the Lending and Research. We're going to give you a really great survey today on your area and our sections with your opinion. This survey is being conducted for research purposes only. We promise to keep your individual opinions confidential. Please know that these are randomly monitored for and quality and training. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm recording for quality and, and training purposes, too. I'm on YouTube right now doing a live stream. You want to say hi? What's your name? Norma. It's what? I'm sorry. It's Norma. Norma. Well, if you want to check out the stream, it's FPS Vision uh, on YouTube. And just hop in the chat and say, hi, hey, I'm the guy who, or I'm the woman who called you. I think it'd be really cool. Okay, wait, hold on. What's the name? FPS. F is in, F is in Jeremy. P is in Rachel. S is in Jamal. And then Vision. I, I sure did. What? <laughs> it's, it's FPS Vision. I'm actually streaming. It's, it, this, this is so funny right now. This is perfect timing. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's your name? My name? My actual name? Yeah. Yeah. My name's Matt. Matt? Yeah. Okay, great. And it's on YouTube? Yeah, it is. You, you're, we're live right now. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I think it'd be so cool to everybody saying hi, Norma. So you, if you if you get in here, you'll see it. It's just the greatest. I can't find it. FPS Vision. FPS Vision. F, like, like the bad FPS. word. FPS Vision. Um, on YouTube, I have about 5,000 or 4,000. I think I just hit 4,000 on Instagram. I have like 103,000. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Well, I'm an interviewer. Okay. I work at Bronx Research. I'm from Nebraska. So is this actually like recorded for quality and training assurance purposes? Yeah, it is. I shouldn't even be talking to you, really. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what. If you could DM me on Instagram, I think this would just be amazing. This is just the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> okay, what's your Instagram? Chill.pk. C-H-I-L-L dot P-K. C-H-I-L? C-H-I-L-L dot P-K. Chill dot P-K. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, sounds good. Bye, Norma. <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> Yo, I can't make this shit up, dude. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh, dude, that's hilarious, man. Oh, that's so funny. Somebody just sent me a message. I wonder if it's her. If this is normal, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. No, I don't think it's there. 
Let me see. Hold on. It might be. I don't know. I can't really tell. Hmm. Somebody's starting a video chat with me. I don't know who that is. Anyway, I don't know. Some telemarketer that called me and wanted to do an interview. And then I told it because I thought it was a scam. You know what I mean? I thought I was, they didn't ask for any payment information or anything like that. So I wasn't really, you know, too worried about giving out any information. But, uh, but yeah, no, that was really, really crazy. That was really, really crazy. Uh, Danny, geez. Okay. Don't spam the chat or they'll ban you. I don't know who you are, man. You're going to have to do better than Matt. Do you remember me? I, that's not a, a great way for me to remember you. You flipped the script? Hell yeah, I did. I bet she was not expecting that. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, I'm live. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's funny, man. That's so funny. Good old Norma. <laughs> Garcia, come back next year. I got you. God, my throat's starting to hurt, dude. Please don't make any gay jokes. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, I got a headache too now. Ugh. Well, I'm probably going to end the stream, and I'm going to go um, <laughs> that Norma right there. No way. No way. That is not Norma right there. Is that actually you, Norma? <laughs> That's wild as shit, man. That is wild as fuck, man. <laughs> she said, if Norma slides in your DMs, you got to let us know. <laughs> I think she's here. She might be. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Welcome to the chat, Norma. <laughs> no lack. I don't. Dude, you got to give me more than that, man. I, I don't I don't know where what you're talking about. You got to give me more than that, so. If you're not, I'm just, uh, I'm not going to acknowledge it. <laughs> I don't know where I would know you from, man. <sighs> oh, man. He said, Neo, fuck you. <laughs> oh, man, y'all about to start a civil war in my chat. Oh, no bueno. No bueno. Norma is here. Is she? That's crazy, man. That's crazy as fuck. She said, Norma, go in his DMs. And I'm getting a call from Newport News. Hello? We offer affordable health insurance from A-plus rated insurers at prices that you and your family can afford. Our nationwide PPO plans are currently accepting enrollments. For a hassle-free quote, press the number eight to speak to a licensed insurance agent. All right, now I'm now watch me go off because these motherfuckers. I've been on their call list for the last eight years. Norma, you see what you started, Norma? Now I have everybody calling me ever. How did how did you get my number? I that, that's what I don't I don't understand these things. I put my number out probably on like a Pornhub survey, and now every telemarketer in the world has my number. This is unbelievable. It's the last time I beat my dick. <laughs> this is not a kid's stream, dude. I need to be a little bit more child-friendly. <laughs> How are you going to call me and keep blowing me up and then put me on hold? The nerve of these people, man. Good music, though. Playing some Mozart. All right. Well, I don't feel like dealing with this. It was almost funny while it lasted, but they didn't want to pick up the damn phone. So anyway, man, um... This was a pretty interesting stream. So we went from a uh, five foot boa constrictor to getting a um, a surveyor's phone or not phone number, but getting her into the stream, which is very impressive. I'm very proud of myself for that one. Um, what else did we do? 
I feel like I'm missing stuff. Anyway, um, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who came through on Cash App. I really appreciate that. Shout out to everybody who donated in general. That really fucking helps more than you guys know. Every time I see that, it takes stress right off my back. It's amazing. Um, but anyway, man, if you guys ever need anything, I'm here for you guys, just like you guys have been here for me. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you beautiful fucking people. And, uh, yeah, you guys have an absolutely blessed night. Stay safe and don't get locked up, man. That place fucking sucks. I don't say that enough. <laughs> you guys have a good night, all right?